It starts with breaking news this morning. An early morning house fire on Meeting Street in downtown Charleston. News 2's Colby Thielen is live for us at the scene. Colby, tell us what's going on there right now. Well, Brad, right now we're at the corner of Meeting Street and uh, Romney Street right here in the northern part of the peninsula just above uh, the Crosstown. And we're standing in a yard just one house over from a house that, that was on fire just a little bit ago. And it looks like the fire department has done a pretty good job of putting it out. I just see a little bit of smoke coming from the windows. But I'm standing right now with Harper Howe. He's a neighbor that lives in the house next door. And he says that it was not that way all morning. Harper, tell us a little bit about what you saw uh, early uh, before 545 uh, this morning. Um, well, not much, you know, quite a quite an early morning wake up call. But basically, we heard the sirens and looked out our windows and saw the huge fire and came out here and kind of scoped out the situation. And um, the firemen were telling us to, you know, get out. We definitely needed to evacuate our house and grab anything, personal belongings quickly, just in the matter that the wind blew the fire our way and, you know, it had spread. Um, so they're telling you guys that you guys might be in danger from the fire a couple houses down. Yeah, uh, the wind was coming in our general direction, so they said just in case, you know, there's a house between us, but in the matter that the wind blew it well enough that it caught our house on fire, they said grab some stuff and, you know, kind of stay out of the way. And you were saying that you're not familiar with the people that, that own the house, but you think that it might have been under renovation at the time. Yeah, um, they've kind of been doing some work, uh, that house, the house next door. Um, I personally haven't seen anyone who lives there um, or if they're doing any um, anything else to it, but yeah, definitely under renovation for sure. Um, when the fire department approached you, they were asking you guys some questions about who might have lived there. Do you remember what they, they talked to you about? Um, they really just asked us if there's any any suspicious activity or anything like that, not necessarily anything specific. Um, we couldn't really give them too much information, unfortunately, um, just because, you know, we hadn't seen much, so we couldn't give them any leads in that in that sense. Yeah. Harper, thanks so much. And yeah, uh, it looks like, guys, right now, as you can see, it looks like for the most part they have that fire contained. There's not a lot of smoke still billowing from the top, even though there is still a little bit of coming out of the windows, but for the most part, it looks like they have this fire contained. We're going to continue to follow up with the fire department uh, and bring you more information as it becomes available on air and online at countonto.com. Reporting in downtown Charleston, Colby Thielen, News 2.